Long time off, Kevin, coming back from the suspension. What was it like just to get back in there and be an active fighter again? Well, it felt, it felt great to get out there again. And uh, I felt like I was very anxious to get back in the ring. And I felt like that, that, that forced me to, to use a little bit too much gas in the first round. I tried to put him away. And uh, he, he was a very durable opponent. But it felt great to be back and you know uh, look for me to evolve and come back a little more relaxed, a little more efficient in my performance. You tested his durability. Talk about uh, the punches you uh, landed. Were you surprised that uh, you, didn't, you didn't plant him uh, in the first round? Not at all. You know, he's, he's a very durable opponent. He was very uh, aware of what I wanted to do. Uh, I got him against the cage and I had him in a turtle position. I gave him some good shots, but he was very smart about protecting himself and he knew, he knew where I wanted to be, so he kind of hid from the real violence of the shots. After stepping in against Keenan Corellius and other grapplers, is there anything in terms of fighting? Did fighting prepare you for that? Like, I'm not afraid to just jump into a competition because I know I'm not going to die? 100%. You know, my very first pro debut was in Japan, K1 Olympia, against uh, uh, Ikuhisa Minoa, a guy who had 73 fights at the time. It was a huge event, so I'm pretty pretty confident in what I do and I believe in myself. So I'll go out there and perform no matter who it is or where I'm at or what's going on. And grappling-wise, you're an excellent grappler. In terms of pure grappling, do you find yourself, do you see holes in other people's games? Like Damian Maya is a beast. Nobody's a better grappler than him. Do you find yourself kind of going that way where nobody can really hang with you in that world? I, I feel like sometimes the guys who are the, the, the top level practitioners in jujitsu, they come in and, and they're a little bit, uh, uh, hesitant to open up with the strikes. You know, I see Damian Maya make excellent jujitsu uh, exhibitions in the fight, and, and then there's sometimes where I feel like he could be a little more violent from those dominant positions. You know, when he gets in the mount, if he elbows the guys, he may end the fight in the, in the second round as opposed to you know going the distance with the guys. So I try to mix it up and, and add a little more violence to the game. What holds people back in that way? You get good grapplers, but they never really, is it because they're so comfortable with the grappling that they never really pick up the hands and the ground and come on the thing? I think, I think it's a mindset. Sometimes you have to separate the sport aspect away from the, the actual uh, combat. Combat is, is meant to be violent. So sometimes you can't come in here with the same mindset as you would in, in, in a world championships or, or a metamorphosis match. You still have to apply some, some viciousness to the sport. Talking about the mindset, obviously, you know, being out for nine months, how toxin was that, um, you know, preparing yourself to, to get back into it? I felt like I had plenty of time to prepare. You know, it, there's no way to jump in after a year of layoff and, and be used to the nerves. So it's just getting back in and settling back in and being a little more relaxed and efficient out there. So I felt like uh, I, I definitely want to come back in, be more poised and pick my shots a little bit better and dictate the pace just a little bit, a little bit more. And you came back, you know, while you're away, the Reebok deal gets secured and all that stuff. How happy are you with uh, the gear that you got and did it work for you? I'm, I'm, I'm definitely excited about the Reebok deal. They have us looking sharp. You know, I'm very, uh, I feel like it's, it's sport, sporty gear and I'm looking to grow with Reebok just as uh, I'm looking to grow with the UFC. How soon do you want to get back in there? Uh, I would like to have maybe two months and then come right back. Hey, anybody particularly that you... Just want anybody at this point, just because you, you know you've been out for so long. Is there somebody that's been on the wish list that you're like, when I get back in, I want to make sure I get this guy off my list. No, whatever puts me forward into uh, you know bettering myself and eventually going towards that top ten spot and getting in there, I'll make that fight happen. Whatever it is.